Hello everybody, welcome to my channel again. Today I have to show you something really interesting. This is a King Camp camping airbed frame. And here it is in my site. I'm using the post where this is uh, described. So this is the top picture in the post. To see what this is about. The, the words air bed frame mean that you have inflatable perimeter walls. So instead of standard frame that you would have in uh, uh, like in any other coat, here you have inflatable material. And uh, the top, the, the area where you sleep is actually the solid part. And uh, these slates that you see here in the picture are fiberglass. Everything here is pre-attached. So what you see is all one single piece. If this means that there is no assembly, you simply uh, roll it or unfold like in this picture and then inflate the, the sides. And then it gets the shape that you see here. So the pack size is very good. It comes with a, a carry bag, which you see here in the picture. It's reasonably contact, uh, compact and also lightweight. Very easy to use and very comfortable. Of course, when you see these uh, slates, you realize that uh, you cannot use this uh, bed without uh, one uh, additional extra uh, sleeping pad. And it is uh, best to have something thick to avoid pressure spots from these slates that you have. So this is uh, an interesting structure, but I must uh, stress that it's not unique on the market. There is uh, one more uh, from Decathlon. And from what I know, uh, this was the first uh, ever that appeared on the market. Uh, so it's similar. The, the, the design is similar and the, the principle of, uh, of this design are similar. But there are, of course, differences. As you, as you see here, uh, these walls are different from the, the one that you have here. But again, the principle is the same. Again, you have some slates here. Uh, everything is uh, pre-attached and fixed. The, <clears throat> the coat that we have here from King Camp uh, is connectable, so you can uh, connect it to yet another of the same type as in this picture, and then you can use uh, a double sleeping pad, double wide, and they have a very wide bed, or you can use, of course, two separate sleeping uh, pads. And uh, these straps here that you see in the corners are actually added to keep the pad in place. So if you turn around, uh, it will remain fixed. Here you see the, how it looks when you put one um, double wide sleeping pad on it. It's really huge and comfortable bed. So again, top view and two separate sleeping pads. Now with this structure, you realize that uh, you have lots of storage space inside of the bed. You would have st storage space uh, also with uh, standard cots, of course, if they are uh, tall enough. Uh, you know they are. <clears throat> so you can put your uh, camping stuff uh, inside and uh, keep the tent uh, organized. Uh, you know well that uh, when you don't use any cot, all this stuff is on the floor and uh, your space is uh, limited. There is also this nice uh, detail here. They have added attachment strap on the side so you can put some stuff attached and keep uh, off the floor and stay organized. Regarding materials, they use exceptionally strong fabric. This is uh, 1000D Oxford polyester, which is really uh, surprisingly strong. And they say it is water repellent. <coughs> and these uh, slates above are uh, fiberglass from what I see in their specifications. Uh, they have added those straps inside, so you can uh, uh, the, the role of them of these straps is to stabilize the, the coat additionally. Regarding the dimensions, uh, they are quite good. You know, I would say this is a really impressive bed. 
so the length is 200 centimeters and the width is 70 and of course you don't have any pressure spots there is no frame around so this is all useful uh, place but I, as I said you need uh, a thick pad on it the, the height is 25 centimeters so it will fit in almost any uh, camping tent no matter how small it is uh, regarding the weight, I would describe it as lightweight, 10.6 uh, pounds or 4.8 kilograms. But uh, you can compare with the Decathlon uh, to see that actually Decathlon uh, is lighter, 3.8. So this is the difference, 1 kilogram. Uh, the folded size is quite good. It's a tube that fits easily into its uh, carry bag, so 75 centimeters. This is almost uh, small enough to be transported on a bicycle, for example. With the, when you have such a uh, structure, you can use it, of course, in any uh, camping tent uh, without any issue with the floor. Uh, you realize that you have uh, inflatable material uh, on, the, on the bottom, so the, you will never have any issues with the tent floor. And also, wherever you put it, it will never sink in the ground because the weight is totally distributed uh, around. So this is really uh, interesting uh, structure and my overall rating for it is uh, very high, 8.6. I use the same criteria for all, all of them. Uh, and for example, if I compare it with the Decathlon, it's uh, 8.7. At some point, uh, some, uh, some, one of the parameters is better here, obviously. So, uh, <clears throat> my uh, only cons are that you actually uh, must have a pad with this bed, which is not so when you use uh, standard cots in principle, with some, with most of them you can uh, manage even without a, a pad. Uh, you can add one, of course, if it is, uh, if you want more comfort or when it is cold. But with this uh, bed you must have a pad. And uh, the pump is not included, which is uh, yet another uh, uh, detail. I think uh, they should have included it with this bed. But regarding pros, it is very easy to use. It's a great size. It is compact for transportation and it is uh, lightweight. So this is all I wanted to say about this uh, uh, camping bed. Uh, I would say it's not only for camping, you can use it as a spare bed at home and uh, practically anywhere. So, this is all. Uh, thank you for watching and please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. There is a link below this video so you can follow it and come to, to my site and read this text in detail. Have a nice day.